Hello. I wanted to show you something. You may notice that things look a little big. Well, I want to tell you up front, I am not running um, VMware Fusion. I am running Boot Camp. So Windows 7 is running natively on my Mac. It's taking advantage of all the hardware. There is not a hint of Mac that is currently running. Mac OS, I mean. OS X Leopard is not uh, currently running. It's all Windows. And you may have noticed that I have full screen magnification. I'll tell you right up front, this feels a lot like the one on the Mac. And this is actually very nice. And I'll show you why. Because, let's say for example here is um, uh, BSR, the screen recorder here, and the ghost images that come up as part of the aero graphics give me a very good look as to what's going on here. And I really like that. See, I can get a, a view of my magnifier, and I can see that it's at 600% without having to get down close like this in order to see it. Speaking of the magnifier, let's take a look. Excuse me. We've got several views to choose from. We've got full screen, lens, docked, and preview full screen. We go into settings here. There are a number of settings we can adjust. Let me just minimize this. We can see how much the view, we can adjust how much the view changes. I just keep it at the default. You can turn on color inversion or turn it off. You can uh, have some tracking options here. Uh, this last one here, have magnifier follow the text insertion point. I keep that checked. I really like that feature. I like to have the um, magnifier follow what I'm typing so it's a lot easier to work with. My Macintosh does not do that. Mac OS does not do that. Okay, so that is something that Windows is ahead in, I think. Off the top of my head, I can't remember because they are so similar, it's not even funny. Uh, one of the things that this does have, though, is the color inversion. You can just turn that on in a single control panel with the magnifier. You don't have to go into system preferences or anything. It's all sitting, or in Windows' case, the control panel, because it's all sitting right here. You can also uh, turn on the clear type which is essentially font smoothing, and you can control whether or not the magnifier starts when I log on. And I've got it set so that it will start. And here's the drill. If it starts, if you, if you, if you uh, have, it, have automatic login turned off, and you start up Windows, and you get to the login screen, and then you realize, hey, I need to get a drink, or I have to use the restroom, or whatever, you go ahead and go do that. Uh, when you come back and you log into your system, you'll find that Windows has... Um, set up the magnifier in the background for you. Now, if you're curious about how to get it started for the first time, what you do is you hold down the Windows key and type R, and then you would just type in magnify. Now, I'm not going to do that because I already have it running. But that's how you would start it. And this magnifier is just fantastic. See, I can take a look at what I'm doing here in Firefox. I'm looking at, a, at an image search for, for, um, for Windows 7. And this is nice because with the ghost view, um, it's, really, it, it's just very useful. It gives me an overall look at the window without having to turn off the magnifier. And so I know for a lot of people, the ghost view may be something of irritants, but I think it's something very useful. Um, because again, like I said, it can give you looks like this. You can take a look and see what's happening. So, um, that's pretty much the Windows magnifier. And again, if all you need is basic magnification, I'd say this is it for you. You can go ahead and save the 500 bucks on Mac that you would otherwise spend on Magic or Zoom Text and go ahead and get something else. So, um, oh, one thing I do, I should mention, it does not have cursor customization, and it does not have the crosshairs. So if you need that, you will might you might want to go ahead and get magic. But the nice thing is that if magic fails, um, if there's a problem, you just go ahead and quit magic, and you'll have this. Uh, one more thing to note about this is you have to have aerographics turned on. 
Otherwise, you'll end up with that lens effect, the one where it was at the top of the screen, It was very, and to me, it was very annoying. In order to have full screen magnification, you must have arrow turned on. So, um, that's pretty much it. That is the new Windows 7 magnifier. Comments and questions are welcome. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.